Alrighty-o, here we are at Solar City Marine. We're here to pick up my brand new boat. Let's get inside and have a look. There's the old girl just there. We've got a bit of an upgrade coming up. It's a slightly different colour, slightly different make, so let's go have a look. Won't go under, well, we'll go in reverse. If it doesn't go in reverse, we we'll just turn the proper fraction and clip it. Got a dog. Dog clutch. Dog clutch, yeah. yeah. If we've got throttle on, it won't go into gear. If we've got throttle, if we're in gear, it won't start. Okay? If it overheats, this is the sound it will make. Hear that beeping noise? Yeah. That's the sound that it will make. Otherwise, that also tells me that the lanyard's not in and we're not going to start. Yeah. Stuart Morris, if you're looking at this, mate, make sure you put that lanyard in, champ. <laughs> <laughs> How fast can you expect to get out of this? So, a 50 on a 420 Explorer Trophy, you'd be running between 50 and 55 kilometres an hour. I'm unloaded. Yeah, one person up, full trim. Couple of blows, couple of eskies, couple 50. of swags. Still 50. So, we, 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 we match the prop to your load. Yeah. Okay, so, they're interchangeable. This would be running a 12 pitch prop which we calculate load, you, a person, gear, okay? Because we want it to still be able to plane. Once we're planed and up the top, this thing will still deliver. Go. Okay. Rightio, well I'm pretty chuffed about this thing. Really keen to get it out on the water and um, hopefully we don't scratch it on the first go. What do you reckon? <laughs> we'll do our best. But no, uh, definitely an upgrade from the old girl and um, yeah, hopefully this gives us a few more capabilities in terms of fishing and, and yeah, get all the boys on it and have a good time. And um, not to forget, a big thanks to Solar City Marine. Um, I looked around a bit for a boat, and as soon as I walked in here, they made me feel like home, and they had exactly what I wanted, and were really helpful. So, anyone that's looking for a Quintrex boat and a Yamaha package or caravans, they've even got golf buggies here. They got the lot. So, come down and see them, and they'll sort you out. here we are on the water a lot has changed since you guys just seen us pick it up from the showroom floor so let's get to it okay, so what is this boat this is the Quintrax Explorer Trophy 420 so it's a 4.2 meter long open console boat ideal for cod fishing um, I've gone for a 50 horse Yamaha package you can't beat the Yamaha the Yamaha is the reliable motor on the market so gone for that reason a lot of people are going to look at it as a tiller steer why have we gone for tiller steer well if you watch our videos you know that we're just mad keen cod fishermen all we do is front to back boat work if a side console was here I honestly reckon it was going to get in our way so while we're young and mobile the tiller steer was the option for me rightio let's talk about boat performance how does this boat go the main thing I look for in a boat this time, and this is someone coming from tinnies, as you do as a young fella, you've only got money to buy a tinny with a 15 horse and you build your way up to something really nice. Um, I went through the exact same thing and I've always had underpowered boats. So I started with an 8 horsepower tinny, then I had a 15 horsepower tinny, then I had a 20 horsepower, then a 25, and even the 25 on the tinny what we do, swags, eskies, they never get on a plane. So the key thing I look for in this new boat is something that is not underpowered and it's got plenty of power to do everything that we want. So that's why I opted for the 50. It's quite common to find this package with a 40 horse on it, but yeah, that's the reason I chose the 50. Yeah, getting past what the boat is, bought it from Solar City Marine and Caravans in um, Shepparton, and Victoria. Great mob to deal with, shout out to them. If anyone needs boats, accessories, fishing, caravans, I think they even do golf, golf carts, so go and see Lee and the boys there, they do a fantastic job. Right, oh, getting down to the nitty gritty, what have we done? I picked this boat up as a bare boat, all it had was the seat and the motor basically, no nav lights, no anything, so I've opted for the motor guide XI5 on the front, I had to go down this path because I just couldn't justify the money spent on the Minn Kota. 
maybe when this one breaks I will be able to justify it but there's a huge price difference between the two and the wireless foot pedal and a lot of people say the motors themselves are reliable the only issue they've had with them is the wireless controllers so fingers crossed have a good run with this one um, we've got the Lowrance Elite FS9 at the front this is the setup I was running on my old tinny with the exception of this new mount so what is this mount? This is a desktop monitor for a home computer. Um, I've been shopping around for mounts and whatnot. I wanted something that's adjustable from really low right up high because the nine inch, as you guys know, Lowrance make a 12 inch screen. So it's the, the nine inch is a smaller option, but with this mount, it gives you the, the variance to be able to bring it up closer to your face if, if need be. But today we're in the river, we won't be using any of that technology. So, um, yeah, it'll just stay packed down low, the pole will go in the car. One for a homemade live scope pole on this right hand side. Believe it or not, this is actually a extendable pool cleaner that I have fabricated into a live scope pole. I could not justify over $400 spent on two pieces of pipe that literally slide into each other. So I've gone down to my local hardware shop and purchased a pool extension cleaner uh, we'll put a hyperlink here um, and basically you pull one screw out cut it to length grind a bush out and yeah you can adjust the tension on it you can adjust the length everything so pretty good option for you DIYs there um, and I've just mounted it down to a ram mount there nice thick ram mount into a ball mount on the boat as well so moving down the side of the boat I've just got a ram mount holder there for the transport of the motor when it folds up and clips in um, I've gone for two I think they had 9,000 lumen spotlights on the front of the boat for nighttime driving everything electronic is controlled on a touchscreen panel down below which we'll show later on um, I've just gone for some LED nav lights on the side as well just to keep it compliant and whatnot. Moving further down the left hand side of the boat, I've gone for a five rod style rocket holder at the back in stainless steel. Um, with the live technology and whatever, we've been known to bring more and more rods and more and more variants of lures. So I wanted five rocket rod holders at the back there. That's why I've done that. Um, yeah, as you can see down the back here, under the one hatch, we've got the fuel compartment and there's heaps more room there for storage and under this left hand side compartment we've got a bit of storage you can see the Yamaha 50 start battery tucked underneath the isolator that I've fitted for the 50 and um, yeah there's a couple other goodies in there nice deep pockets in the back of these F420s heaps and heaps of storage you can fit anything you want in there so moving down the right hand side of the vessel I've gone for People are going to call me a tight ass, but I've gone for an Android tablet here that syncs to the Lowrance sounder. So instead of buying two Lowrance sounders, I've gone for the cheap option and bought a tablet. A lot of people aren't aware that you can sync an Android tablet to your Lowrance device, and you can also mirror and remote control the entire Lowrance device from a tablet. So it just means that it's got to be charged up and ready to go for each session and you do lose some quality in the screen itself. Righto, on the right hand side, you've got a little wing hatch here. What I keep in here is all my life jackets. So I've got one for towing the tube there and I've got a couple of PDFs hidden underneath. Nothing too exciting in there, just some safety gear. Righto, in the main storage compartment here, We've got a couple of the essentials. Brag mat, hopefully we've got something to brag about later. The infamous dimple for the meter cot on the boat. This one hasn't been opened yet. I am so eager to open it. Aeroguard is a must. Look where we are, the Ovens River, the home of the Australian mozzie. Some electrical tape. <laughs> Better than you need to do. So next to that, I've got this duffel bag here which is part of the package with a new boat it's just got life jackets fire extinguisher all your safety gear in there that just lives in that hatch if we look further into this hatch you'll see the main accessory battery this provides power for the active target 
all the lighting on the boat and uh, that's about it actually. And as you'll see here mounted up on the wall is the Lorac uh, Loractive, the Loractive Active Lorenz. Is that similar to the Lorenz Active Target? <laughs> it is. Or the Garmin Loratscope? <laughs> the Loratscope <laughs> is what I call it because all we find is rats. Um, no, so the Lorenz Active Target is mounted on that front wall there just with a couple of screws, nice and tidy out of the way. I tried to keep it as high as possible in this boat because on the last boat I actually found a bit of water when Jake conveniently left my bung out. Um, yeah, good on you Jake. Audio. And just in this front hatch I've left open, everything goes in there all put together. So the screen, the mount, the foot pedal, the active target transducer, everything folds up nice in here. Rightio, one little feature that I did forget to mention is I've got um, under channel lighting under both sides which is just off this King's touch panel here. Um, they're a good little unit for anyone that's wondering, the King's touch panel, about 120 bucks. Everything's there, comes with a relay and fuse box, everything ready to go. So yeah, it's been a couple of weeks worth of work decking this boat out to how I wanted it. I tried to do everything to the best of my capabilities because this is probably the only brand new boat I'll ever have in my life. Um, yeah. So looking forward to hitting the river this weekend with the boys. Hopefully we can get some cod juice in it and um, have a good time. But yeah, if you've got any questions about the boat, um, leave a comment below and stay tuned for some episodes in this beast. Cheers, guys.